GMOs are genetically modified organisms. It's when an organism's genetic material is altered using genetic engineering techniques. They have been greatly controversial on ethical reasons. These are a few examples of the pros and cons people have had about genetically modified organisms. The first plant cannot fight against pathogens as well as a genetically modified one and dies easily, not allowing for it to be harvested. The genetically modified plant fights against pathogens better and survives most diseases that would kill a normal plant. Certain genetic modifications also help fight against pests, which then requires less of a need to use pesticides. Genetically modified plants have harmful side effects. Some of the side effects can be either harmful or helpful to organisms. They can provide advantages and also prove to be a disadvantage in some cases. They can have additive traits that help it survive better, but are not healthy for organisms to have in their bodies. Whoa! How cool! The cost of genetically modified food is way more than the money that is spent on regular crops. It is because the seeds of the genetically modified crops are made to only give off one harvest of crops and do not give off any extra seeds, causing the farmer to go and buy more seeds from the company. This ultimately results in a loss of time and money. Why must they spend all this time and money? Ain't nobody got time for that. The genetic modification of some crops allow them to tolerate extreme temperatures. This creates a larger area for the plants to grow and may even help crops grow out of season. The plant on the left is a normal crop, while the plant on the right is a genetically modified crop. The normal plant grows much slower and is not as healthy in comparison to the other crop and eventually dies. The genetically modified crop continues to grow. This allows for the plant to grow much faster in a shorter amount of time, which means more harvests in a season. In their tongue is Dovahkiin, Dragonborn! Oh,